Okay, uh, now it's 11 a.m. So um, we can uh, start our webinar. Before, before that, let me introduce you our speakers for today. Uh, first up is uh, our very own Hadi Sahran. Uh, he's his, uh, he's uh, our senior engineer uh, in Pointstar and he's based in Singapore. Uh, our next speaker is from Jabra. Representing Jabra is uh, Mr. Gabriel Ng, uh, and and also from Joan, Mr. Roy Chia. Uh, both all of them are based in Singapore, actually. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Hi guys. Uh. Welcome to this long-awaited session. Um. Thank you for participating in this webinar. So now we are live and we are excited to see all of you attending this one. And we have a great agenda lined up and I hope uh, it's going to be a fruitful sharing session for all of you. First off, I'm Hadi and I'm a senior solutions engineer at Pointstar. I will be your host for this session. Um, we will be having Gabriel Ng, Alliance Manager, Asia Pacific from Jabra and Roy Chia, Business Development Manager from June to give you their presentation soon in there. So, um, just so you know, you guys are in for a treat. We will have a small quiz at the end of this, and you guys can stand a chance to win uh, Jabra's Evolve 240 headset. And I know some of you are looking forward to that. Um, before we start, as with any webinars, uh, here are some reminders to keep our webinar running smoothly. So first off, please mute your microphones during the presentation. Um, to ask any questions, click on the activities icon on the bottom right corner, then click on Q and A and click on ask a question. We will also have a live discussion during our Q and A session. Um, kindly stay until the end of this entire webinar so you guys can stand a chance to win uh, Jabra's Evolve 240 headset. We also have a feedback form for you guys to fill up. The link is uh, shared on the chat box, so please fill up the feedback form at the end of this webinar. Okay, so um, without further ado, uh, I think I would like to introduce. Uh, Gabriel Ng, Alliance, Man Alliance Manager Asia Pacific at Jabra to kick off this session. Okay, Gabriel, uh, can take it away. Thank you, Hadi. So, hi everyone uh, from Malaysia. Uh, Gabriel here. So, I'm going to start to uh, introduce about uh, the Jabra uh, Panacast uh, lineup itself. Uh, but first, of course, uh, we want to go into the why of uh, what, uh, why we actually created this uh, Panacast lineup itself. So next slide, please, uh, to the agenda. So we are targeting the, the why, the who, and the what. And uh, going on to the why, uh, we, talk, we talk about the new normal and how it has changed our world, right? And um, uh, we before that even, uh, we have always been, uh, I would say that people has always been focused on our productivity. The management team has always thought about how can we improve productivity itself. And we have seen that uh, across the years, slowly productivity would hit a peak and then slowly you would drop. And uh, how is the management going to help to improve that portion? And so where do we come in is we are focused on making products that help to improve uh, productivity in knowledge workers because I, all of us here in this call are, are knowledge workers itself. We are looking for ways to transfer knowledge from ourselves to another person. And that's how we add value uh, to the organization itself. So whether is it the Evolve series, a headset they're wearing or a Speak series uh, where to give you the, the crystal clear audio so that you have a good experience when you do a collaboration call. And this Panacast uh, as well is, is meant to do the same thing because it's meant it's video conferencing hardware itself. And we are set, starting to see that we are doing more complex tasks itself. We are always uh, multitasking. We are doing different, uh, we are, I would say our job scope is expanding, right? We are not only just doing marketing, we could be doing sales, we could be doing a bit of finance. And we are touching points onto different uh, departments, I would say uh, cross-functional, uh, collaboration and of course going into team collaboration we are starting to see more of that uh, i'm sure you have used uh, many different collaboration tools whether is it hangouts whether is it uh, teams whether is it zoom itself and of course there's going to be more teamwork uh, whether you're working remotely of course i know most of you are but as as your plan to move back to the office that's something that you'll think about and that's why you hear a lot of the terms of a hybrid workplace so next slide please 
and of course we know that everything has been accelerated now uh, because what we are we are going through and we are starting to see that there will be uh, working remotely itself uh, we it will be the new normal where uh, you have uh, flexibility of either working from home or in the office of course that's depend on your organization itself uh, how is it uh, being run some of course some management prefer all of you back to the office of course now it's very risky right and and it's, it's shown that like if you go back to the office uh, are you worried that you'll catch uh, the virus for example so so something that uh, you we have to think about and as an organization the thing whether about flexibility and whether is it you need to scale up to fit uh, more people in the office or when you have an MCO, you need to scale back down again. Moving on to the next slide, we talk about safety, right? So that's one of the paramount importance when you're moving back to the office. If you look at the McKinsey uh, report, uh, McKinsey did a great report about a uh, study about employees uh, across the world. And one of the top three uh, concerns about going back to the office is if they fall sick. And you do not want to fall sick because if anything happens, you will, it could affect your family, uh, it could affect your friends, and it could uh, affect your personal lifestyle. So people are worried about going back to the office uh, itself. And we see that the HQ will still remain, or, or I would say offices will still remain, right? Uh, we still need that social uh, collaboration with our uh, uh, colleagues itself. And at the same time also, we get this concern that if we are doing things remotely, we may not be able, it may affect also our career progression itself. Uh, that's one of the main concerns because a lot of things that uh, that we always notice about like social cues or this is being done when we are face to face, whether it's uh, catching up over a cup of coffee, whether it's at lunchtime or just turning back right and speaking to the colleague uh, behind you. So uh, it's very important that we, we look into the likes of the uh, room safety and room occupancy as well. And also another factor is of course, if, if you are in the, the main cities like Kuala Lumpur uh, itself, real estate is expensive. And, and if it's not used, it's even worse, right? Because it's just there uh, and yeah, you're just paying money for, for I would say, uh, renting a space that nobody is using. So do you, uh, a question for, for all of you to think about is, do you still need a space with a lot of desks and less meeting rooms? Or do you want to have something with more meeting rooms and less desks? Because anyway, you can work from home, right? Um, then again, if you want to come to the offices, most of the time it's collaborating. And I'm sure all of you have faced the issue where you come to the office and there's no meeting rooms available. So uh, that, what, what can be done across that? So next slide, please. And we are starting to see that a remote workforce and, and uh, even from the McKinsey report that most of the leaders agree that remote uh, a workforce should be important, giving you the opportunity to work remotely, right? And especially in Malaysia itself, if you're not living in the city, if you're moving around, you know, sometimes you can travel one, two, even three hours itself. That's a lot of time wasted. Imagine if you travel two hours per day, two hours times uh, five days, uh, work days is 10 hours wasted. Imagine if you can save that uh, that two hours by either uh, resting well, either doing your, your housework or even just, uh, just working itself, right? So, and that's why it, uh, there's been reports that show that almost 60% of Malaysians want uh, some form of remote working itself and, and, and giving that flexibility. There's even uh, say, uh, report data that shows that people prefer, don't mind having to, uh, giving the opportunity to, to work remotely uh, and at the same time reduce, a bit, uh, reduce their expectations in terms of uh, remuneration. So uh, that's something that we think. And I think that uh, from, from Jabra's perspective, hybrid work, uh, workplace is going to be uh, very valuable and, and it gives more satisfied employee and at the same time, you uh, lower your real estate costs. So moving on to the next slide is, uh, another question for you is how will offices be redesigned? to support the new organizational priorities, it, especially when you're moving back to the workplace uh, and, and safety is uh, of uh, paramount importance. And should still 80% of office be co devoted to collaboration rooms instead of desks? And that's where this McKinsey report also talk about the reimagining of the, the office and the work life after uh, COVID itself. And 
I think that it will be a, a fact where when you come in, potentially there may not be a physical receptionist, could be a virtual receptionist. And, and of course, you will probably have to sanitize your hands and all that. And after that, you, you may even have to book a room before you even come into the office, maybe through an app. So some things to, to think about. Uh, different uh, stakeholders from whether is it the real estate management companies like JLL uh, to McKinsey have, have done reports on that and I encourage you to read them up. So going to Jabra Panacast itself on the next slide, that we, we focus on key four key areas on this. Uh, intelligent video, uh, of course, to make to ensure that everyone is being seen is as if they are there uh, in the meeting physically itself. Uh, safety and security, uh, outstanding audio as expected from Jabra, and of course, uh, flexibility so that's easy for you to use. And moving on to the next slide, we, we had the first phase where we talk, uh, we have always been talking about the new ways of working. And uh, we, we, that's where last year a lot of headsets were being purchased, um, for sure, a lot of speakerphones. And the next phase when your plan to move back to the, the, the workplace, whether it's at the end of this year or next year, uh, that's where the video collaboration comes in. And now targeting the, the, the who, who are the people that we, we, we think that this is important. So moving on to the next slide, uh, the knowledge workers, uh, which I mentioned earlier, whether uh, is it the standard office with the desk uh, workers or, or whether is it the corridor warriors where people usually move around, you know, uh, maybe it's a bit too noisy here, I move to another part of the office to talk. Uh, flexible office where is it the remote workers or whether is it uh, people who, let's say, for example, want to set up a meeting uh, in the pantry when there is no, uh, not, no meeting rooms available. And of course, on the go, uh, the executives and the salespeople, and the, uh, what we call the road warriors. And moving on to the next slide, uh, we've seen that uh, the whole four pillars that we, I have talked about uh, was not very important back then. But post uh, COVID, I think this will definitely uh, definitely uh, increase and uh, all of this will have significant focus and importance on. So. What, what am I talking about uh, this podcast lineup? Moving on to the next slide. Uh, the four key pillars that I have talked, uh, the intelligent video, uh, outstanding audio, safety and security, and flexibility. So uh, may I move to the next slide, please? And to the next one. Yep. So seeing everything that matters, that's important because it's as if, uh, especially when you're remote, you want, still want to have the connection uh, with people who are in the office itself. Outstanding audio, of course, if you can't hear me itself, then you will ask me to continually repeat myself and that's, that will potentially uh, work up people, right? And of course, the safety and security is very important. You'll be ensure that you are open to people in your organization, but at the same time, securely uh, secure um, how how your how people uh, external people can enter itself, and of course, the flexibility very easy to use. And next slide, please. This is the Panacast lineup that. I've been uh, talking about, we do have the, the Panacast 50, which is an all-in-one video bar. We have the uh, Jara Panacast and of course the Panacast 20, which I'm using right now for uh, remote workers. And moving on to the next slide, and this is where we are, we are trying to cover these three types of offices. And to the next slide on Jabra Panacast itself. So this, this uh, video camera uh, system has been out in the market for about two years. Uh, especially last year, the take-up rate has been uh, great, especially in Malaysia. Different uh, verticals from government to education uh, to the private sector have been using this uh, device itself because it's so flexible. So moving on to the next slide, uh, this is the Jabra Panacast itself. It's probably smaller, it's probably the size of my palm. So you can imagine how small and light it is, even smaller than an iPhone 12 mini. So uh, that's how small it is and it's very flexible itself. So moving on to the next slide, how does it cover the four pillars that we are focusing on? First on video, the Jabra Panacast is able to uh, capture a 180 degree view of view, meaning that it has three cameras in place, uh, able to see the entire room itself. 
uh, that's where we also have intelligent zoom in place. How it does intelligent zoom is it captures or it detects the amount of faces uh, in the, the room itself and it's able to cap, uh, zoom out to capture everyone in this place. And of course, we have the flexibility option. It's really easy to carry around, very easy to use. It's a simple plug and play device. It's a USB device, meaning you need to bring in your laptop or compute, plug in the, the Panacast into your laptop USB port and boom, you are ready to, to run a video meeting itself. And of course, we have the, it gives a, a social, because we know that social distancing is important. So it gives a 180 degree view of you, meaning that with a one meter social distance, uh, from a five packs uh, room pre-COVID to a three packs room in, in, in this uh, uh, times, we uh, you, the Panacast itself will still be able to capture everyone. And of course, from an audio perspective, we recommend either using a headset or if we are in a meeting room uh, with a speakerphone itself for the uh, best audio available. And moving on to the next slide, this is an example if in the education space, if you are in the education sector, or even in, if you are, you are in a, a meeting room itself, uh, that with in an in-classroom, like I've mentioned, with social distancing in place, uh, one to two meters, 180 degree view of view camera or a standard cam uh, uh, camera system that you're using now for your, for your room may not be good enough. You may not be able to capture everyone. But with the Panacast itself, it's able to capture the entire uh, audience available. And it's important, right? Because you want to see the facial markers. You want to see the facial cues that people see you. Like now you are seeing my video. You can see how I, I react to certain uh, questions or maybe even how I speak itself. And moving on to the next slide, we are talking about uh, how we are transitioning people back to the office. And that's where uh, we, we collaborated with Joan itself. Uh, I won't talk much about it. Uh, I'll leave it to Roy to explain more about Joan itself. Uh, basically, what happens is with the Jabra Panacast and the people detection uh, that we have, it's an uh, SDK that uh, you can easily uh, download. Uh, and this is what Joan did. They integrated with their room booking system, meaning that you don't even need to touch um, any part of uh, the panel, the room booking system or whatnot, enter the room and boom, straight away the meeting is booked. So uh, that reduces the amount of touch points that you have in the office. And moving on to the next slide, we have uh, the entire franchise that I've been talking about. From the left, the Panacast 20, which is for personal use. We have the Jabra Panacast, which I've talked about for flexible. And we have the Panacast 50 for meeting rooms itself, uh, if you want to just leave it there and install it. Moving on to the next slide, uh, I'm talking about the Speak 750, which is great to pair uh, with the Panacast itself uh, for, for crystal clear audio. So moving on to the next slide, we show that uh, the Speak 750 gives uh, a very nice duplex uh, HD voice uh, to the other party. And it's also great for, for music itself. And, and if you want to pair it up uh, or daisy chain it to, to another Speak 750, it's great. So it gives you that stereo sound itself and it's plug and play uh, so once you plug into your laptop uh, whether is it google uh, you want to do it google meet or any other uc platforms out there it works uh, really really well so the the speak 750 itself uh, you may ask me Gabriel, why why do i need a, a external uh, speaker itself and microphone right compared to just uh, having using my laptop audio yeah from on your end it may sound great uh, when when people speak but when you start speaking and you start transmitting the audio to uh, other parties, right? The audio may not sound great. And may not, they may not be able to tell you. And then their experience is not good. And probably they never catch what you say. And then the, the meeting is not productive, right? And then you probably, they have probably have to start a, another discussion and start talking uh, probably another uh, chat to just confirm what it is. And it wastes a lot of time. So crystal clear audio is really important. I'm sure some of you have participated in webinars which uh, have bad audio and you can imagine what it's like. And with that, uh, that's the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you. And I'll pass it back on to Hadi. Okay, um, just for the benefit of uh, everyone who just joined after the introduction, um, if you guys have any questions, uh, you guys can click on the bottom right corner of uh, the icon and then um, you can still ask a question. And then um, uh, do stick around uh, because we have a quiz later on and you guys can stand a chance to win Jabra's uh, Evolve 240 headset.
and also we have we shared a link uh, for the feedback form so i would really appreciate it if you guys can fill up uh, before the end of the, this webinar so um i would like to introduce our next speaker which is roy chia business development manager from uh, joan uh, roy you can proceed thank you all right thank you hadi uh, selamat pagi to everybody in malaysia i uh, my name is roy i represent joan for the southeast asia region uh, very excited to have the opportunity to uh, present today uh, about our jabra and joan collaboration um, so i'm just going to jump in quickly into the slides uh, can we have the next slide please Yes, so um, just a quick intro about um, some of the drone solutions for this uh, COVID era that we're all living in. I know you guys are all sick of CC, C, M, C, O. I don't know how many Cs there are in front of it. Um, we are similarly quite stuck here in Singapore as well. Uh, I think everybody probably wants to get back to the office now, <laughs> which is not the truth maybe in 2019. But when we're moving back to the office after almost uh, one half years of work from home, um, during this time, so many things have changed, right? Um, so the reimagined workplace um, from business to home to office ports to meeting rooms and desks, everything is not how we literally use it last time. Uh, like what Gabriel added on a little, a little bit earlier about the office experience, uh, what he's missing or what we are missing, right? Um, things have to change. So as we go back to the office, um, are we going to um, have uh, this following questions, right? Is there a desk uh, waiting for you? Um, is your desk still available because of social distancing? Um, will the desk be disinfected in time? Um, in case if you're hot desking, then the last person that used it, right? Um, when you take over, is it already disinfected? So will your colleagues be there? Social distancing is important. Um, it's on everybody's lips now. Um, but do we have uh, you know, enough measures in the office to make sure that everybody is like one meter, two meters apart uh, so that you know it's safe? And if somebody breaks a sneeze, it's not going to be uh, you know, full of airborne particles and germs and all that stuff. Right? Is your office safe to return to? Um, do you have to fill out contact tracing forms? Um, what is that method of contact tracing that either yourselves or your customers have to go through? What is the best way to deal with it? Right? Um, in Singapore, we have this thing called a uh, trace together um, app or token uh, that we have to kind of scan the QR code to get into buildings and that goes into a national um, database. So for contact tracing, so something might be similar, but how do you integrate both systems together within the office? Right. And um, how many days are you supposed to work from home or back into the office when you're allowed back in uh, to the office? In Singapore, we've went through a couple of rounds where uh, one minute is 50% um, because the infection rates are low. And then as the infection rates go up, it's down to 30%, 20%. And now it's everybody mandatory working from home. Right. So um, and then the other things to think about is uh, how do you then meet your colleagues now for a meeting? Right? Um, is it going to be half at their desk, um, dialing in? Doesn't quite make sense, but for social distancing, probably is the way to go. Right? Or how do you know that your company is able to alert you that um, maybe some of your fellow colleagues sitting around you have been infected uh, with COVID? So to address all of these issues, um, Joan, um, over the uh, period of the COVID, um, we have actually come out very quickly with uh, some of the solutions that would help. Um, we are focusing on or showcasing today the Joan uh, meeting room solution. It is a six inch device. But beyond that, um, we do have a few other solutions uh, as shown. Uh, sorry, uh, take slide, please. <laughs> Sorry, I just jumped the gun a little bit. Um, so to, uh, to, to, to add on, um, Joan, we came up with um, all of the solutions um, with the six inch um, meeting room solution device as our focus point. And um, these are the solutions that's around it. Um, Joan room, like I mentioned earlier, is the six inch device that's placed outside of the meeting room and is the focus point today um, as we collaborate with Jabra to enable contactless uh, check in, check out into meeting rooms. Right. We also have Joan Desk um, to help out with um, non-hot desking or hot desking um, office environments so that um, you can have proper uh, audit trails of people who have taken the desk, uh, what time they've taken the desk, and um, maybe even as they vacate the desk, that somebody can go in and help to clean up that desk. Right. Uh, we also have Joan Visitor to aid with um, external contact tracing. 
uh, we have Joan Home um, for those who like to uh, have a bit more structure in uh, in the way they work at home, where they can place a Joan uh, device outside of their uh, office home office and to let family members know, hey, you know, if um, I'm in a meeting, please do not come in and disturb. So it works pretty much the same way as how Joan would work within a office meeting room environment. Uh, we also have Joan sign um, for uh, information display into common areas, um, areas that are shared um, with a lot of people. So typically we're looking at um, pantry areas, we're looking at phone booths, uh, we're looking at huddle spaces, um, even like, um, okay, this may not sound really right, but uh, we did have requests um, to put drone signs or drone devices uh, paired up with a footfall counter integrated together to show the number of people in a washroom at any point in time. Yes. Uh, so all of these solutions are tuned toward the new way that we have to live our lives um, with COVID uh, through the workplace and the home, and also to maximize productivity and ensure everybody's safety. Next slide, please. So Jones, um, Operating principles are pretty straightforward. We only have three. Uh, first, of course, um, Joan is designed to uh, be simple. It's designed to delight users, and it's really easy to use. Um, it's easy to onboard um, once we get the initial details worked out um, over, like, you know, what is your um, uh, wireless uh, internet um, SSID and all that stuff, and then uh, which are your meeting room resources. Once you get the device, um, it can be deployed really easily. Um, the thing is that drone devices are so simple that you don't even need to drill, right? Or you don't need to do cabling because it runs all on battery as well as with uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. So there's no need for any drilling um, as opposed to other more uh, other kinds of um, meeting room solutions. Um, the design-wise, it's clear, it's purposeful, it's elegant. Uh, it's very simple, right? Um, there's, there's nothing to it. If you've seen a Amazon Kindle before, it's exactly like that. The form factor is a little bit smaller at six inch diagonal view, but it is using e-ink technology and it's built to last. So uh, most of our drone devices last more than I think right now in actual real life cases, uh, one of our oldest customers in Singapore have been using it for more than four years already. And um, the failure rate is very, very low. Um, they've only replaced one unit so far and that's because they knocked it off the wall. Um, but otherwise we, we have hardly any RMA calls. Um, it's sustainable. Um, this is really in tune with the green um, movement that is happening all over the world. Everybody is trying to be environmentally conscious. Um, with Joan, actually on one single charge on the six inch devices, it will last, uh, the battery will last for at least three months, right? So um, given that, and um, it uses a very, very uh, low uh, power, uh, it's very, very uh, so-called uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, next slide, please. So why choose Joan? Um, our solutions are always built with users in mind. Um, as a matter of fact, um, when users require help and, and, and stuff like this, we've even thought about the workflow. That's why we have a drone portal, which is meant for the admins so that they have um, the flexibility and you know they can um, change the rules as your um, lo local laws change uh, with every MCO that comes in. So like what we've gone through in Singapore as well, as an example, um, at some point in time, we have 50% 50 50 of the workforce allowed to return back. So which means of out of the total number of seats that's available in the office or the total number of meeting rooms, the administrators can quickly administer and say, hey, you know, um, how do we uh, manage all of these people coming in, right? So with the app, um, it is also um, deployed to the users. Users can download the app to book a seat. Once that um, limit is reached, they can't book a seat anymore, which means it helps them to make a better decision on whether or not to even travel rather than you know, wasting time on the road and then discovering that the, when they land in the office, hey, there's no more seats available or that meeting room cannot be used because it's already been booked uh, by somebody beforehand and or um, the number of people uh, permissible within the office environment has already been reached, right? Uh, next slide, please. So uh, the Joan app is a unified um, booking app. So you can not only book your desks, you can also book your rooms. And for that matter, if you have a huddle space, which is already pre-configured to a, uh, maybe if you're using your uh, calendar resource, um, that can be managed as well under the Joan app. Uh, next slide, please. 
So a bit more introduction into the June app. Um, you can even uh, do most of this stuff here. You know when you're supposed to go back to the office. Uh, you can book your seat, your uh, your desk, um, you can book your huddle spaces, pretty much everything. And from the administrative point of view, because the users use this to book their seats, you can actually know who is coming into the office or not. So for example, if you are a section manager and you say that, look, I have a team of eight and I need to split them into half. And I want to make sure that if that half goes back to the office, um, I want to know who's there, right? So this really helps the organization understand um, what's happening at any point in time during working hours. Uh, next slide, please. So again, um, touching more a bit about the different pointers that you can um, use this for. Um, you can use the Joan app to pretty much book for everything. Next slide, please. And then to complement um, the internal uh, so-called user audit trails and stuff, we also have Joan Visitor, which is um, somewhat a scaled down VMS um, software um, if uh, your customers or yourselves don't already have one of those. Um, so we can actually um, put in Joan Visitor uh, in place and then it can display through a Joan signage. Um, it can be the 13 inch, it can be a six inch. 13 inch is recommended uh, with a QR code that will have a web link to a web form. And then um, your external visitors or your internal um, staff as they come in, they can fill in the declaration form. Um, I'm not so sure how it works in Malaysia, but in Singapore, the declaration forms usually will have um, um, some details such as uh, where have you been? Have you been in close contact with an infected person? Um, what is the temperature, address, mobile phone number, email address, all that stuff. So it really helps in terms of identifying uh, which are the threats that have happened in the office uh, with an infected person, be they internal or external. Next slide, please. So um, to sum up, a, the first part of this presentation is really just a quick introduction into the different solution sets that we have um, built around um, Joan meeting room solutions and now extending out because of COVID. So these are all the solutions that's available and Pointstar uh, will be your go-to partner to speak about, uh, to speak to uh, for any kinds of help or more information about those um, technologies. Uh, next slide, please. So now I'll jump into the collaboration bit proper. Um, this is a uh, Jabra and Joan initiative on a global level. And um, basically what we are going to target on is contactless meeting room solutions, which, are, which is really, really uh, important in today's context. Uh, next slide, please. So over here, uh, we do um, showcase um, what the workflow is like. It's very simple, like what Gabriel mentioned a bit earlier. Um, the SDKs and the APIs are all available. And um, if you have um, issues trying to um, uh, integrate them together, Pointstar is your go-to partner as well um, for any assistance on this part. Um, but what we did is really not rocket science. We just made use of the API interface um, and created an integration between Jabra Panacast and Joan. So um, Joan, uh, sorry, Jabra Panacast would be able to recognize the people um, in the meeting room as they come in and send the information via software um, to your calendaring system. And that sets the room to occupy um, after a predefined period. And uh, vis -a vis as you leave the room as well, you don't have to check out of the uh, room via uh, by touching the device. Um, Jabra Panacast takes care of that um, as the camera detects um, people uh, not in the uh, not in the room after a predefined uh, period of time. So um, to showcase that, uh, we will move to a short video on the next slide, uh, about a minute and a half, and that would give you the uh, grand scheme of things. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, Hadi, I need your help to uh, click on play. Sometimes meetings end early, leaving the meeting room booked while no one is in it. In other times, we just like to slip into a free meeting room and finish our call without suddenly getting interrupted by our co-workers. Meet Jabra Panacast, engineered to be the world's first intelligent 180-degree panoramic 4K plug-and-play video solution. Together with Joan, the simplest meeting room booking solution out there, they represent an automatic meeting room management system. Place Jabra Panacast next to the TV you normally use for conference calls and Joan outside of the meeting room. 
Jabra Panacast camera will detect the number of people inside a meeting room and send this information to Joan. Based on the information, Joan's screen turns to either booked or free, depending on the change. When someone walks into the room, Jabra Panacast conveys that information and the meeting room status turns booked across all the channels. Setting up the integration is extremely simple. Connect the devices in Joan portal with the authentication token provided. Toggle with settings and decide after how much time the room gets booked or released. Automate meeting room management with Joan and Jabra. Thank you. Can we move to the next slide, please? Yes. So um, within the office itself, uh, the 180 field of view that um, Jabra Panakas uh, presents is, is really fantastic. So um, if you look at the red lines um, uh, on, the, on the picture itself, uh, most traditional cameras are quite limited by 120 degree uh, field of view. And this restricts the ability of Joan to say uh, uh, work in tandem with um, Jabra Panakas to be able to detect people that's sitting beyond their fringes. And um, this a, is usually with a conventional camera with only one lens, it's really limited. So this is a um, uh, very, very good um, way that we can um, integrate together and a solution that is really, um, I would say, ready for this COVID period where we want to try to minimize as many touch points as possible. Um, the traditional use case for Jones 6 is where you have to literally check in and check out of the device to take down the room um, and to confirm it on your calendar. So now with um, Java Panacas, this makes um, the contactless uh, feature come into play and it should be very, very useful moving forward. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, a quick introduction or quick recap on the Joan product. Um, we connect via Wi-Fi. Um, we work with most um, calendaring systems like O365, like G Suite, um, basically anything that gives a .ICS output. Uh, we will be able to work together with that. Um, you don't need to drill holes. You can literally just use the magnetic base at the back end and stick it up to any surface um, in front of the meeting room itself. And with every single charge, it will last about three months. So it's really, really easy to use. Um, and it's really energy efficient as well. Uh, the next slide, please. And with Jabba Panakas, uh, I think you've really heard um, Gabriel present this earlier. Um, it's a really fantastic piece of equipment. Um, easy to use, plug and play. Um, I like the 4K um, uh, view that it comes with it, the panorama, panorama technology. And at the same time, because of the ability to do uh, the people detection, it really helps uh, me as a, uh, as, a, as, a, as a business development manager in this region to push forward the use case of contactless uh, check-in, check-out for our devices because I'm getting a lot of um, ask about, hey, you know, how safe is your stuff? It, uh, can, can your Jones 6 self disinfect from customers in Singapore? I'm like, uh, no, but this helps that use case a lot and I'm really, really glad for this collaboration. So um, it will work quite seamlessly as how um, Gabriel has uh, mentioned previously. So um, with any issues, I'm sure Pointstar will be able to help answer those. Next slide, please. So again, just to wrap up, um, it's very, very easy collaboration. Um, we've done it before. Gabriel has tested it out. Uh, my, my tech team in, in HQ, uh, Slovenia, have tested it out before. And Pointstar is most definitely able to support um, any kind of collaboration requirements that you need uh, via Joan, uh, together with uh, Jabra and or any other kinds of stuff uh, that works together with um, the Panacast product. All right, so this would enable full frictionless, contactless uh, meeting experience. Uh, and with that, I will end my presentation. Uh, so if you have any issues uh, pertaining to collaboration, please feel free to reach out to Pointstar. Uh, they will be your go-to partners uh, for this solution. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, uh, thank you, Gabriel and Roy, for the insightful sharing session. So um, now let me share with you the day-to-day -day solutions that we provide here at uh, Pointstar. So uh, a bit of background on our company. Pointstar was founded as a cloud technology company. Uh, and now we also provide our clients with future workspace solutions. We, we offer professional services to help customers to modernize their workspace uh, for the new digital economy. Um, and we are also proud to have established partnerships uh, with Jabra, Joan, 
Logitech, Cisco, and many more brands uh, to mention. Okay, what professional services am I talking about? So um, we provide consultation. So we'll do a site visit to your office. Uh, we can come up with the best solution for your needs. Uh, design. Our engineers will come up with a system design and uh, schematic drawings. Scripting, uh, customization, scripting for your solution. Uh, implementation, we will provide all the necessary services such as uh, deployment, configuration, and also installation. Uh, as for project management, we provide uh, project coordination with all the project stakeholders to ensure a smooth operation. Lastly, um, IT support and managed services. So we, pro we provide tech support be it during office hours or being for seven. Um, okay, so here are some of the clients that uh, we've, we've worked with. Okay, I want to touch on uh, why is it important to have a video conferencing set up? So these are some stats that uh, we have gathered for the year 2020 and I would like to share it with you. Uh, as you can see, uh, about 62% of end users chose providing high quality video calls with their team and providing an easy to use solution for every user. So these are their top reasons on why they want to have a video conferencing system implemented in their office or their home office. As you can see, there's also a high percentage of agreement on improving the connectedness of remote team members, improving the effectiveness of teams, enabling individual employees to be more productive, strengthening customer relationships, and also improving the sales process. How can uh, video conferencing actually benefit your company? Um, reduce travel, save time, reduce costs, and improve collaboration. So with all these uncertainties of this pandemic, like the MCO and whatnot, right? video conferencing solutions are the only certainty that can provide you seamless communication across the globe. So I would like to share with you a, a mock-up floor plan so it can help you visualize the different type of solutions that uh, we can offer you. So I'll break it down for you guys. So for phone booth, uh, like what uh, Gabriel said earlier, the Jabra Speak 750 is the perfect solution. Um, you can just uh, you can just install the Jabra Speak 750 there. You can just go into the phone booth and continue with your meeting. And also for the huddle room, uh, as you know, uh, Jabra Panicas. Um, with the Jabra Speak and also get Zoom booking system. As for as for bigger rooms such as conference room, boardroom, we can also use the range, uh, the Jabra Panacast range, and also the 750. Uh, we are also having using it in in back in our office, and also the get Zoom booking system. Uh, apart from all these solutions, right, we also do bigger solutions. Let's say, for example, training room. Um, you know how right now students cannot go, cannot gather together and study, so they have to do all this uh, online learning. So we do we do integrated solutions such as dual cameras, where um, uh, one of the camera can face the lecturer, another camera will face the students. Uh, we also do ceiling mics, ceiling speakers, and all that. Apart from having a really good video conferencing system, you also need a. a larger bandwidth for to, to actually conduct all these meetings so we also can help you uh, upgrade or even build your IT infrastructure to further support all these uh, video conferencing uh, bandwidth hungry if you know what I mean um, last one is lobby and pantry so this one is really not uh, not of use right now, but uh, it can be done uh, in future. So, for example, like uh, the LED video wall, projector screens, all this collaboration area. So, uh, it helps with uh, better communication among your uh, between your company. Okay, so um, being a solutions engineer, right? Um, I'm not here to sell you cameras, microphones, speakers, right? I'm here to recommend a solution that best fits your needs. Uh, a cost-effective solution that can help you maximize your company's potential. And I can help you achieve all that with both Jabra and Zoom. 
So um, for those of you who are keen to explore the possibilities, uh, we will drop you an email um, and you guys can contact us from there. We can schedule a site visit and also a free consultation. Well, let's hope um, the MCO is listed soon and um, um, so that we can, we can proceed with all these things. So um, that is just a short um, presentation from my side, just so that you guys know that we are the catalyst to, to, to make this happen. Um, okay, so with that, right, I want to say that we've come to an end of this whole presentation. And uh, I would like to advise you again not to leave the webinar just yet as your chance to win the Jabra's Evolve 246 set is just around the corner. Okay. So now before I proceed to the segment where you guys have been waiting for, uh, are there any questions for me, Gabriel or Roy? Maybe you guys can uh, uh, bring it forward. Okay, so... We are trying to get employees to switch on their video. Oh, okay. Um, okay, maybe um, for, for this question, it's, it's a good question. Um, uh, like I said, uh, if, if I have a good video conferencing system and then um, uh, 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 the other party also does not have any, anything, right? So in order for you to achieve all this is to ensure that both of you have the right equipment so that end user are here and far end user is also um, of the same standard. But maybe this one I can let um, Gabriel to touch on because this is a Jabra's thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks, thanks, Hadi. So, yeah, I, I think that's a great question um, because I think most of the time we do not uh, switch on video. Uh, even sometimes I, I do have that. Uh, uh, sometimes I do or don't switch it on as well. But I would say that especially when we are uh, doing important discussions with uh, external uh, people, uh, I do encourage uh, to, to on videos, to switch on video because you get to see the verbal signs, you get to see the verbal cues that they have, uh, how they react to certain questions or even what I have said, um, which is important, right? Because especially now we have to, we have to accept that if you want to work from home itself, we still want to give, um, we, want, we still, as much as we can, can still want to connect with that person. And with just audio only, it's a little bit tough. Uh, for example, if I were to switch off my video and start talking, uh, you may not uh, resonate with me as well as if I switch on video and you can see me, right? Uh, so, or just see my, uh, so that, that, that's important in itself. So I, I don't think it can be uh, something that we force enforce in that sense because sometimes then people may not have the best experience and they, they may not look forward to doing collaboration calls and instead probably just want to um, chat or they want to do an email uh, however I, I think that it's uh, it's more of an encouragement right and it's something to get used to like at first I'm always not used to looking into the camera which I am now uh, I'm used to seeing what's on my um, small screen right so there's a lot of like advice out there on how best to have a, the best video experience like for example switching off your self view mode if you can um, try to look at the camera and and, um, and a lot more other things like lighting and all that uh, so so to give that best experience but now and then again I would say that as I would say to continue to, to try to practice that um, another best way is probably like a, a social gathering, right? Instead, instead of having a proper meeting, sometimes we do we do have lunch uh, gatherings like uh, internally itself with, with my colleagues, so that we all, we all switch on our video and, and we just um, see everyone, which is very nice because uh, we miss that having that lunch gathering or even going to to an overseas uh, together and just gather, right? Uh, and uh, and mingle. So. Uh, we, we try to be flexible uh, and I think that's probably the best way, especially in, in a hybrid workplace and in a remote setting. And of course, having a, a good uh, uh, intelligent video camera helps, uh, like for example, what I'm using. All right, thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. 
yeah i i second that actually like sometimes like i do miss my colleagues also i don't really miss them that much but yeah this them <laughs> if you don't want it okay uh any more questions from you guys all right so um thank you for for the question i i really like the question okay so before we proceed uh with the quiz uh we would like to have everyone to fill up the feedback form the link to the feedback form is at the check box so you can also um, scan the QR code. It will it will really mean a lot to us because um, um, you know we can further improve our our webinar so that we can give a better experience for for our participants. So I will give you guys uh, maybe a minute or two just to fill it up, um, and then um, and then we can get Shahiran to to conduct the quiz. So do stick around for a bit. So uh, let's just wait for one or two minutes uh, while we prepare the quiz and while you guys can uh, fill up the feedback form. Okay, um, is everyone ready to win yourself a new, a brand new headset from Jabra, the Evolve 240? Okay, before we start, um, uh, let's go through some of the requirements uh, for you to, uh, to win the prize. There will be five questions and in order for you to win, you need to uh, answer them as quickly as possible and as correctly as possible. Yeah, so um it's not a matter of uh just getting it right but also getting it right quickly okay so um for this uh you um it's best for for you guys to uh, play it on your phone and and uh read the um uh, scan the qr code on your phone so that you you can easily answer them uh on your phone actually but you guys can can uh, do it on, on your PC laptop as well. Uh, okay, just just to you know maximize your winning potential. <laughs> okay. Okay, for you guys uh, to uh, join the the quiz, the quiz, uh, just uh, either scan the QR code or um, go to the uh, URL slido.com on your web browser and key in the code hash five 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 six five seven. Okay, so you guys can start uh, joining in and we'll, we'll see uh, all the participants. Okay, we can see the uh, people are starting to join now. Okay, that's 10. Come on, where, where, where are the others? I, I see there are like 35 of us here, here. Don't miss out on a chance to win that really, really great sounding headset. Okay, is everyone in or uh, is there anyone still having trouble to join the quiz? Okay, I guess uh, everyone is already in. Okay, we'll start the, the quiz now, okay? That's 15 seconds for you guys to, to answer each question, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to mention about that.
Okay, time's up. Let's see. Okay, most of you answer all of the above. Okay, let's see whether you guys are correct. Yes, that is the correct answer. And let's see who got it correct. Okay, let's it looks like Lim Ki Song. Oh, 10 seconds. That's quick. Okay. Let's see the second question. Testing your memory's ability to get the details right here. Time's up. Okay, most of you answered the second answer. So let's see whether you guys are correct. Yes, that is the correct answer. And let's see whether, oh, the, leader, the leaderboard has been Taken up by Hafiz now. Well done. Lee Kim Song trailing near behind. Okay. No worries. We still have three questions to go. There's still a chance for you guys to keep catch up. Five seconds. Come on, come on. Get those answers in. Let's see. Okay, most of you answered the first answer. And you are correct. Okay, let's see. Hafiz is still in the lead. And Lee Kim Seong has vanished. <laughs> Nantini now has, is closely behind second. Okay, two more questions to go. Is it A? Is it B? Oh, is it all of the above? Hmm, I wonder which one is the correct answer. Oh, most of you answered all of the above. And you are correct. Let's see. Oh, Hafiz is still in the lead. Okay. One more question. This is the decider. Okay. Focus, guys. Focus. Jabra is in is in contention here. Okay, ready here, guys. Last question. Time's up. Let's see. Okay. Okay, most of you said no. Is that correct? Yes. And who is the lucky winner? Yes, Hafiz Adisman. Congratulations. You have won yourself the Jabra Evolve 240 headset. Uh, uh, I'll be contacting you through email and um, uh, We'll, we'll discuss uh, the arrangements on, on the delivery of the price. Okay, congratulations. And also thank you for everyone for t participating in the quiz and also making this webinar a success. Uh, thank you also uh, on behalf of Pointstar and Jabra and Joan, we'd like to thank you everyone here. Um, it's been a pleasure hosting you guys here and I hope um, you we have, um, uh inform you guys uh on on the the possibilities of video conferencing also in in this pandemic pandemic times and if you have any queries any questions about our solutions from jabra joan or pointstar itself please uh let us know by sending us an email at my hyphen sales at pointstar.com okay uh that's all for me and uh, from everyone here, uh, thank you again, and we'll see uh, in the next webinar, hopefully. Yeah, have a good day.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.